Hello, fourth graders. For today's lesson, please take out your characters close read and turn to page 21. If you need to, pause the video while you get your supplies. You will need a pencil that is ready to write. Okay, let's get started. So we just finished the story, Peter Pan and Wendy, called Come Away, Come Away. It's part of a larger text called Peter and Wendy. And you did more practice of annotating the text and writing summary sentences. Before we move on, we're gonna be finishing our unit this week and starting a new unit next week. And today, this week, you're finishing your fairy tales. I want us to just revisit the importance of key events and summary sentences. I think I might turn off my screen for just a second to focus on those two concepts before we do the lesson today. Over here on the board, I wrote what key events are. Key events. A key event is an important event in a text, a story, a narrative, a play that moves the story forward. I've used that word a lot. It moves the story forward. So it's something that's important to the story. Now stories have a lot more than key events. For example, in Peter and Wendy, it is important that Wendy sews Peter's shadow back on. It moves the story forward. It's an important event. Also in the story, we learn that Wendy did not iron it. She thought it was wrinkly and maybe she should have ironed it. That is not a key event. It might tell us a little bit more about Wendy's character, like she cares about things being nice and neat and smooth and looking good, so she's conscientious or um, perfection is important to her. That's part of her character, but it's not a key event. Key events move the story forward. And then summary sentences combine the key events to tell you what's most important in the story. So summaries combine the key events to give you a brief retell of the story. I have given you recent feedback. If you are putting too much detail in your summary sentences, you shouldn't use quotes. You shouldn't use description in your summary sentences. They should be very brief and just tell the key events that move the story forward. Now I'm gonna turn the screen back on because to wrap up our analysis, that's what we do when we take a closer look at a text, to finish up our analysis of Peter and Wendy, come away, come away, we're gonna look at this page, page 21, and we are going to build, reflect, and write. We're gonna work on the chart that's on the top part of the page. Throughout our stories in this close read, we have taken a close look at characters' actions and words to try and help us see what it reveals about their character and also what it reveals about the relationship of the characters. That's what we're doing today. Today we are going to even deeper with our analysis. That is such a big fourth grade skill, analysis. It sounds important because it is important. You are going to analyze how the actions and words affect a relationship. Think about your relationships at home. When you say something mean to your brother or sister or you lie to your mom or dad that you didn't do a job, think about how it affects your relationship. Think about that. It hurts it, right? People get angry, people get defensive, people get hurt when you act in a certain way. So it might hurt your relationship and it affects it for a short amount of time. Hopefully you can make things better. The same thing happens with characters in a text. So let's take a closer look at Peter. He is something, isn't he? And Wendy. We've already described them. We analyzed them last week with the character chart. We took a closer look at both of those characters and we're going to do that again today and look at their words and actions. Of course, my screen logged out. Oh, now I'm not so big. I want to be a little bit bigger. Here, I think that's better. Okie doke. We're going to start on the top part. We're going to do the top sections together 
and I'll model it for you. And then you are going to finish these two bottom parts yourself. I'm going to push you to think about the words and how they interact or affect the relationships. So the first words we're going to look at are Peter's and they're on page 18. Oh, I shan't cry, he says. Oh, I shan't cry. And he also says, how clever I am. I need to go back to page 18 because I don't exactly remember those words. So I'm going to go back to page 18. I'm going to look for these words, oh, I shan't, and see what happened in that part of the book. I can see here it says, oh, I shan't cry, said Peter, who was already of the opinion that he had never cried in his whole life. That's so wrong, because remember the page before he was sobbing and it woke up Wendy? Peter doesn't really know what he's like, does he? He doesn't. He's kind of ignorant, like Wendy says. Anyway, he clenched his teeth and did not cry, and soon his shadow was sewn on. And then down here, he says, how clever am I? When he sees that his shadow is fixed, that it's on. Well, what does oh, shan't, I shan't cry tell us about him? What it tells about the character. I think, I know from my prior experience, my prior knowledge, that when someone says, oh, I'm not gonna cry, they are telling themselves to be brave, that he is trying to be brave. He is trying to be brave and then how clever I am my pen is not working great how clever I am so I'm going to draw a little arrow here to make it a little bit clearer him saying oh I shan't cry shows that he's trying to be brave when he's having the shadow sewed on how clever I am that's the part when he's taking credit for Wendy's sewing for her hard work so what it tells about the character is he is proud and taking credit for Wendy's work. Oh, I never like it when people do that. He's kind of being a braggart and he didn't even do the work. Well, let's think about how these two things affect his relationship with Wendy. When he said he's trying to be brave, how does that change his, his relationship? Like, what will Wendy try to do? What do you think? What would you try to do if you were gonna sew and you said, oh, it might hurt, and they say, oh, I'll try not to cry. What would you do? How does Wendy act? She's very mothering and caring towards him. Wendy is caring and sews it and it doesn't hurt without hurting him. All right, but when Peter does this, when Peter says how clever he is and he takes Wendy's sunshine takes her attention away from what she actually did. How's that, go? how does Wendy react? How does she react? She is mad, right? She is upset. She says, um, it develops their relationship because Wendy gets upset and she threatens to leave and threatens to leave. That's on that last page when she says, you braggart, she exclaimed. Of course, I did nothing. You did a little, he says, and she says, a little, I will withdraw, and she threatens to leave. So now we took a look at how these words here told what it told us about the characters and how it developed the relationship with the other characters. Now on your own, I want to push you a little bit to think about it. Our quotes are when Wendy said, you're dreadfully ignorant. Dreadfully means either like awfully or very ignorant. 
when Peter says he doesn't know what sown means, she says, you're ignorant. She tells him she's, he's stupid. He's very stupid that he doesn't know that. How is that going to make Peter feel? I want you to write that for me. And then Wendy says, I shall sew it on for you, my little man. Those words, how does that affect Peter? I want you to write those ideas here. I want you to do some thinking about it. And then over here, how does that affect their relationship? When she says to Peter, oh, you're very ignorant, you're very stupid, how does it affect Peter? He, he, do you remember? He gets very defensive. You may have to go back to the text. He gets very upset. And then she sews it on for him, and how does that make him feel? You can do it. You can analyze these actions and the character's reactions. That's our fourth grade skill. You are finishing up the unit. Go for it. So you need to do these two sections. And once you click next, there will be a place for you to take a picture of your work and submit it to me so I can see how are you doing with your character analysis of actions and reactions. Great work, fourth grade.